This is KITV4 News at 6. An artist from Ireland is raising eyebrows for his unusual outdoor painting, some of which are found right here on Oahu. Known simply by his first name, Owen, the artist uses natural landscapes as his canvases. But that's not sitting well with everyone. KITV4's Andrew Pereira has the story, all new at 6. Before he could write his name, Owen was drawn to painting. After years of trial and error, the native of Dublin, Ireland, found his niche in the most desolate of landscapes. I'd probably put it down as uh, scenic art. It wouldn't really be street art or graffiti in, in my eyes. Owen says his vision is to bring people to that solemn, positive moment when we reflect and dream. Things just kind of lined up and it kind of made sense for me to put my work out in those places and that's that's where I feel it's well you know most connected to put it there. Last year Owen was attracted to Oahu by a collective of Hawaii artists known as Ninth Wave Gallery. World War II pillboxes became his canvas at the Kaivi State Scenic Shoreline and Kaena Point State Park. The reaction to it is great like everybody can relate to to what it is and take their own interpretation from it you know. But of course, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And no matter what you think about this artwork, the Department of Land and Natural Resources says Owen went a bit too far. And Some people might think it looks pretty and it looks artful, but it's still there without permission and it doesn't fit in the, uh, uh, the theme of, of a natural park. DLNR has already painted over the Kaivi pillboxes, but Owen's paintings at Kaina Point remain. Isla says anyone who follows Owen's lead could be fined as much as $200. It detracts from the normal maintenance. It takes away money that could go to uh, upgrading toilets. It takes away time uh, from our people to take care of landscapes. So any graffiti is unnecessary. Although Owen has painted rock formations, he knew better than to do that in Hawaii. As far as the pillboxes, Owen says his intention was to inspire and not break the rules. If there was to be trouble, I have no worry about going and painting over them. It's, it's purely as a positive message for people to enjoy it. Andrew Pereira, AITV4 News. Now, currently, Owen is working on a very large painting at the Peace Lines in Belfast. That's a series of barriers in Northern Ireland that separates Catholic and Protestant neighborhoods. And we definitely want to know if you think this is art or if you think it's graffiti. Make sure to weigh in on our Facebook page right now. We're going to feature those comments in tonight's Trends and Talkers at 10 o'clock.